Hey friends, uh, welcome to the part 29 of this playlist. If you have not yet subscribed, please take this opportunity to subscribe. You will benefit a lot from the contents explained in this channel. So many people have already benefited. You can click the join button below this video or click the description link to become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member. Let us look at the questions. So what type of database is DynamoDB? DynamoDB is a NoSQL database service. It is a key value database type. This is the right answer. So where do you use DynamoDB? Which sort of applications? Example Uber. They use key value databases to get very high performance. You know these databases they give like single digit millisecond that means one millisecond five millisecond or nine millisecond single digit millisecond performance so fast now can you give me an example of in memory database type so have you heard about elastic cache so this is in memory database and so this is wrong because DynamoDB is not in memory now what is relational can you give me an example of relational database something like oracle sql server like aws rds that's a relational database aurora that also is a relational database relational databases are also called rdbms database so this is not what document db is and the graph databases whenever you think about graph think about a planet called neptune so neptune is a graph database you know graph database why do you use graph databases if you want to store correlation between data sets you know for example in amazon.com the moment you complete a transaction of suppose you buy two products then it automatically suggests hey you know what people who bought these two products kind of also bought these other products would you want to have a view or and purchase it how does it do that because it is storing that sort of data which is correlated in a graph databases in graph database so that immediately it is so fast that immediately it goes queries and say hey what people who bought this also bought this other set of products so in summary if i want to put one word what will be one word it is graph database neptune it is a recommendation database it will generate recommendations if you want to build applications to generate recommendations based on data correlation you use graph database and in aws AWS Neptune does that for you. It is a managed service from AWS. That means you don't have to worry about installation, configuration, and so on. It is a managed service. Very expensive. So, this is my final answer. You know, this question is so simple. You, you are on premises. This is the yellow box is on prem whereas the blue box this is your aws okay aws and how much data you got to move from this place to this place you got to move 60 terabytes huge data set and you have 10 days for it which aws service would you use see one thing you note about this is they are not giving you any information if they have a fast internet service normally in real life what we do as a norm is we try to leverage the internet speed but if someone says that hey you know what i don't know i have 10 days but i don't know my internet speed or my internet speed is not good if that is the case then we do snowballing that's how you do that in real projects okay now, if you look at these options, the first one is talking about Glace here. Normally, it stores data sets which you want to archive for long-term storage. 
for example your bank statements okay if you go through the internet banking you can only see a last year's statement or last six months statement but what about the data sets before that like last five years seven years so for example in india rbi the reserve bank of india they have a policy a mandate for all the banks to have the data sets archived for 10 years now even if your data sets are not act in active usage uh, you still have to keep it so you have to keep it by default you would do that using uh, storage which is dirt cheap and that is glacier does the question talk about archiving or storing archive data sets no nobody is talking about that the question is how will you move it the question is not where will you move it the question is how will you move it how the question is asking how how not where so glacier is wrong now if you talk about dms this is wrong because this is about database migration and not pure object store migration for example if someone says hey on prem i have a sql server and it has like x terabytes of data and if you want to migrate that database to cloud maybe in aws rds then we would use dms so is anybody talking about a database migration no they are just simply saying hey you know what i have 60 terabytes of data this data can be unstructured data structured data files video files text files parquet files audio files it can be any damn thing man so nobody is talking about databases here now d d is talking about direct connect direct connect will establish a high speed highly secured internet connection between these two points okay and with that kind of high speed 60 terabytes it probably can make it in three days what's the use when you have 10 days right why are you increasing the project cost by doing something in three days so direct connect would be super efficient see one thing remember whenever we have like a huge volume of data sets in terabytes we do a snowballing why do we do snowballing so it is helpful to move offline data to cloud so how it works is you put an order to aws aws would send a box that is the snowball box you copy the data there uh, you then dispatch it to aws through courier service aws receives it, it it either migrates the data into aws cloud or it will just plug that box directly uh, you know to the hardware where they plan to provision your services so that's how snowballing works since we know that we have like 10 days for this snowball would work perfectly fine so this would be my final answer now this one is a very stupid question or i would say very basic not stupid a, a basic question it is talking about what is the total amount of storage offered by s3 always remember s3 is just like god infinite infinite we think the resources in this universe is limited Human beings think the resources on earth is limited. No boss, it is infinite, infinite. So unlimited would be the answer. We would lock this. And now is the time to hit the subscribe button if you have not done it yet. Dude, please hit the like button if you like my videos. You know, you can click the join button below this video or you can click the link in the description become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member but only if you want to pass only if you are interested to build a career in cloud so this brings us to the end of this part stay tuned for many more such parts